multiple prisoners because it's kind of like Mr. Potato Head. I can build him into the perfect person. And if I feel like I'm lacking something, I'll put one down and pick up another. So I start with my vision board. I make my way over here to my progress board. Their names get transferred. And then eventually, they're on my to-do board. I think that I prefer men in prison. Hey, welcome, hey. welcome, welcome. This is Calm Vibes. I'm Jay, and let's talk about it. All right, today, today, what I'm going to talk about is women who date inmates. And not only do they date them, they fall in love with them, and they send them all their money. To the point where one lady, she hell, she's about to lose her car. So uh, before we get into it, let's go ahead, show the love, hit that subscribe button. That's right. Take time out now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I need the support. Got to keep the channels moving. So I need you on here. Hit that like button, that little blue thumbs up. And then hit that notification bell so you can get the next ones coming through. All right. So I appreciate that. I really appreciate the new people coming on. Um, new channel. And we're trying to do some little things here. Now, back to the big thing. These women are straight up crazy. Just crazy. So I'm going to follow up and let it go with this lady here. And uh, like I said, just sit back and relax, people. Enjoy this crazy shit. Dating multiple prisoners because it's kind of like Mr. Potato Head. I can build him into the perfect person. And if I feel like I'm lacking something... I'll put one down and pick up another. So I start with my vision board. I make my way over here to my progress board. Their names get transferred. And then eventually, they're on my to-do board. I think that I prefer men in prison because I grew up with my grandmother. My dad moved to Seattle, Washington when I was nine years old. I love my father. But after my dad moved away, it was a lot of phone conversations and pictures, and it was a kind of a lot like dating a prisoner. So when I date a prisoner, I don't feel like I'm missing anything because I never had the person I love with me. So it's, it's easy. Recently, I was a passenger of a drunk driver. It was a single car accident, and I nearly died but I have a civil attorney that does really good. And I did receive a settlement. I got roughly 80 grand. So I'm meeting him to talk about Dalton's case. I am seeing someone that I'm very in love with and you know, things are really good between us, but he is incarcerated right now. What, in jail or? And Dalton's in prison. In prison. So how's that working out for you? Now, this young lady here is crazy. She came into some money, 80000 but probably can put her in a good position. She's going to take all that money to try to get some dude that she's not married to out of prison. Like, And he's probably guilty. He probably did some shit he's not supposed to be out no time soon. But you're going to pay these high attorneys to take your money and they're still not going to get them out. And it's, and the other lady, she got that soft story. Oh, my dad wasn't around and was just making phone calls and pictures. And I feel like he was in jail. The fuck? That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. But I'm just going to let it run on through. Uh, and then you'll look and see how much these women are spending on these guys. Now, remember, these guys are locked up. So the only thing you can do is put money on their books. Now, this lady, she paying for an attorney. But the other lady says, you know, she doesn't have any money left over. And you were here to talk about it. But how stupid can y'all be out here? All these fucking people out here, these men out here, and y'all y'all spending y'all time locked, chasing men that's locked up. It's like I remember this back in, uh, a few years back. And a lot of black women were saying all the good men are locked up. 
I still remember that shit. I was like, what the fuck? All the good men are locked up. It's like, no, they're not. <laughs> it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. But <laughs> let's just go ahead, man. Let's go ahead and let it run. I'm letting it run out to the end, man. So let's let's just pay attention to shit. Well, it's stressful, but I mean, I do have another attorney for him and I have hopes for him on getting him out. But I mean, I trust you. So I just wanted to see like what your thoughts were. You know, the attorney that is representing Dalton? Yes. Okay. How did Dalton afford to hire this attorney? So I provided that. Haley? How much? $12,500. I just feel like love is so powerful and I love him enough to where money doesn't matter to me. How much are you into this deal for? I think uh, I probably spent roughly 25 grand. Money is the most challenging thing about dating an inmate. It's very expensive. My car note is past due right now. Over the years with my relationships with inmates, I probably spent a year's income. It's important to give the inmates on dating money because without me, they won't survive. Thanks, Ty. I am over. Okay. Now, that is the dumbest shit I ever heard. This woman says, without her, these inmates wouldn't survive. <sighs> these guys are getting three meals a day, a shower. Uh, no roof over their head. They will survive without your money. Now, they may not, because they can't do but so much. So, all this money you're putting on their books, they can only buy from the canteen. So, they like they out ordering fucking suits and shoes and all this shit. They in jumpsuits. You know, all the little two-piece khaki shit. And you send all your money there. When you have kids, you're talking about your car notes, you got to lose your car and all this shit. So you think somebody feel sorry for you? All I can say is, ladies, there are plenty of men out here that you don't have to do all that with. I mean, continue to chase them fucking jailbirds you want to. And the other little girl think that she can get this fucking convict out. You know, she probably got some dude that stay in fucking jail. And um, just spending money because you got it. But I thought it would be funny to break though to do this because I I I knew women growing up that was into inmates and stuff. You know, like I said, the women that's like all the good ones are locked up and all that shit. I never understood what they meant by that. But um hey, what the fuck I know. I mean, I don't know. Like women say it's love, it's love, you know, love is powerful. I don't... Okay. Well, whatever. Well, people this calm vibes and let's talk about it and I have and I ain't talking about it no more this some bullshit basically and I'm gonna get out of here so y'all don't forget subscribe like comment and hit that notification bell and I'll see y'all next time peace be with you later